Get a load of this one. Beige, isn't she a beauty? She is seventh month 1980. Seventh month 1980 is the last month of the HJ45. That's it. A month later, the HJ47 starts. Well, this one has been turned into a 47 because now it has a 2H in there. And that 2H has been in there for a little while. Um, Hal owns this one. Hal is on tour. He's up here from Newcastle traveling. And uh, he stopped in at Mr. Land Cruiser. He needs some parts today. So we're going through a few things, swivel hubs and um, needs a, a clutch slave and just a few gaskets while he's here. And we're sorting that up. It's great to have somebody from over the border up. It's great to have visitors here. So we thought, well, let's do a walk around. Now, Hal has only had this on the road for three weeks, but this one runs in the family. This is, or was, his father's vehicle since uh, the 90s. Sometime throughout the 90s, dad bought this. He's had it all those years, and now it's son's turn. And son took it off the road. He did a full cab off, not a shut door. He did it himself, the paint, everything. Put on all your weather strips. The full cab off himself, got it back on the road, gave her a lot of love after Dad's had it. And now it's Hal's daily driver and touring rig. And he's already touring it three weeks and he's already touring in it. He's got um, at the back here, got the alloy tray, but on there, these boxes, there's two lockable boxes either side. They're X fiber gauge. You can see by all the switches at the back that um, he scored himself. Uh, fibre gauge box and that uh, just leaves all the middle open so you can roll your swag or what have you and um, underneath this he's got train tamer it's a 50 mil train tamer 50 mil lift the only other thing on the outside is the big bar work that's probably been there the whole time and again it's a tourer so if you're touring you're probably likely to see roos and stuff so this is an ideal bar the bigger the better fish and rod holders um, up and running but early days yet we're also talking about um, we stock and sell the JTX LED lights and I'm pretty sure he's going to go in um, down that direction after touring with the um, old school ones it's not so fun at night now, under the bonnet I've said it's a 2H under the bonnet we have um, just it's a gen 2 2H so it's out of a 60 series the only thing I can sort of point out there you'll see the cable running along the edict mode is no longer in it it is um, cable cuts off and starves it for fuel so that's just a pull cable and that's pretty common in these old girls when um, you change the engine or you put a diesel in it the looms um, doesn't accommodate that so another thing and um, Terry is in there now talking to him about the loom and the um, um, for guys doing a 2h swap we sell a standalone uh, edict loom it's just to, um, so you can plug it in and put it back to um, turnkey turn it off when you pull over so you don't have to uh, dump it in fourth or have the cable the cable's pretty cool though um, it's better than doing the clutch and it makes it um, it's just more mechanical there's less to go wrong so while it is like that I can't see there being any issues let's go and have a look at how he's tidied up the inside of the vehicle how cool is this it's pretty basic in here um, I was talking to Hal about um, just what he's done and a very minimal now again it's been cab off so everything's been spray painted I see some new stuff I see um, some stuff that's been uh, just restored in here now it does have I said oh you've still got the factory floor and he said yeah I've got a spare 45 at home so how cool is that you've got a, a spare one that you can rob parts off so he's put the floor in out of that and uh, the black duck seat covers. He told me underneath the black duck um, is a fully reupholstered driver's seat and an excellent condition passenger seat. So what he's done is put the covers over them to keep them in excellent condition. And um, plans for the future. He is talking uh, UHF to go in where the stereo used to go because he's got a Bluetooth up underneath the... Um, visor here and he, they just use their phone so the uhf and an overhead console now we offer a few options so you can talk to him about that he's also done and really loves the uh, sound deadening which is he's, he's gone for car builders uh, excellent product uh two stages he's done firewall floor i see it going up behind me and just as important it knocks um it just um deadens the roof and keeps it cool in here world of difference and that's it it's a stocko 1980 
HA45. So it's great to see 1980 all those years ago, over 40 years ago. It started, this vehicle started up in the Northern Territory. Uh, it's made its way down to Broken Hill where Hal's dad's owned it and then in various locations throughout Australia and they've um, driven it all over. Now it's in Newcastle and from Newcastle it's already touring up into Queensland, stopping at Mr Land Cruiser before it goes home and it's been great um, to meet the owners of this vehicle and just have another bit of show and tell in this yard. This is a really, really awesome Land Cruiser. I'm very biased, but I love it. HJ45, seventh month, 1980.